CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 46 through 50. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 46. An IT administrator is considering the operating system options for setting up a server that requires access to the source code and can operate exclusively in a command line environment. Which of the following operating systems would best meet these requirements? The answer is C. Linux. Linux is widely known for its open source nature providing users access to the source code for customization and modification. It's highly suitable for hosting various server applications, thanks to its stability, security, and scalability. Moreover, many Linux distributions offer command-line interface-only options, offering advanced users powerful tools for efficient system management. Question 47. A small office is looking to enhance the security of its wireless network. They want to enable automatic logins using certificates in place of passwords for added convenience and security. Which of the following technologies should the wireless solution support to best meet this requirement? The answer is A. Radius. Radius, or remote authentication dial-in user service, is a protocol for centralized authentication often used in network security. It supports the option for certificate-based authentication, where client devices provide digital certificates to the RADIUS server for verification when connecting to the network. This method streamlines and secures authentication, offering an alternative to manual password entry. Question 48. A technician is tasked with evaluating new software for potential deployment within the company's network. However, they need to ensure that testing the software won't compromise the functionality of existing systems. Which of the following options would allow the technician to safely test the software? The answer is B. Sandbox. A sandbox is a secure and isolated environment where software can be tested without affecting the rest of the system. It provides a controlled space for running potentially risky programs, allowing technicians to observe their behavior and interactions with the system without the risk of damaging or compromising other systems. Sandboxes are valuable in software testing as they help identify and mitigate potential risks before deploying software in a production environment. Question 49. A user reports that their computer is running slowly, and upon investigation, the technician discovers that the system drive is nearly full. To resolve this issue and improve system performance, which of the following tools should the technician utilize to free up space on the drive? The answer is A. Disk Cleanup. Disk Cleanup is a utility tool available in Windows operating systems designed to free up disk space on a computer's hard drive. It scans the drive for unnecessary files such as temporary internet files, system cache files, and other temporary files created by various applications and Windows components. Users can select which types of files they want to delete, and disk cleanup will remove them, thereby reclaiming disk space and improving system performance. Question 50. A technician is tasked with partitioning a hard disk that needs to allocate 4 terabytes of free space across 6 primary partitions. Which partition style should the technician select when partitioning the device? The answer is C. GPT. MBR and GPT are two partitioning schemes used to organize disk partitions. MBR common on older systems, supports up to four primary partitions or three primary partitions and one extended partition, with a maximum disk size of 2 terabytes. GPT, a modern alternative, allows for up to 128 primary partitions and supports much larger disk sizes. So, while MBR has limitations in partition count and disk size, GPT offers greater flexibility and scalability for larger storage needs. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? 
Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.